back and better than ever with a couple really simple but really on point updates. 22 RBS Cougar here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. This is actually on the Halet RV Top 10s list. This is, works for so many people looking for that uh, lighter weight, uh, tons of storage, big time countertop space, but uh, shorter towing couples camping experience. That's exactly what this one is. With the slide out closed here, you will lose access to the front bed. Um, you've got that big deep dinette, the big deep slide. I've got some kind of piece of paper stuck to my shoe. Never mind, there we go. Um, I suppose if you really, really had to, you could plant one foot there. You could step over to the bed to be able to sleep without opening up the slide. But what is nice is if the camper is just parked at your house, you can get to the monstrous level of storage in this thing. You can stop somewhere, you can make a sandwich, you can sit down and have a bite to eat. You can get to this ridiculous amount of storage in the bathroom and everything right by the door. You can get to your refrigerator. So it's very easy to get this camper packed up and ready to go or stop and you know make a quick pit stop out of it. Now this is called the 22 RBS, but frankly, I think it should be called the 22 FBM for freaking beast mode. Because this is freaking beast mode, Batman. This thing is amazing. I say, what I'm about to say, I, I say with no exaggeration, no intended salesmanship, just, just two friends talking. If it was just me and the wife, and we were going to get out of the bunkhouse and get to a little couple's camper, this is it. This is my camper. This thing is awesome. So, why do I feel that way? Why am I in love with this? Well, 100 little things, 100 little things. So it starts right over here by the door. This is your touchscreen and command system. This replaces the physical command center. And this is going to be one of those things where guys, you're going to have to just relax a little bit because immediately a lot of folks are going, wait a minute, no, it's weird, it's different. I was used to a big bulky control panel right here that my grandkids could reach. I like switches, switches make me feel comfortable. I understand that. Wait till we get to the outside of the video. The switches still exist, but they're for an emergency override. Day to day, this is all you need, but there's an enhanced benefit here. This can sync to your phone. So anything you can do off this pad, you can do off your phone. But people are saying, yeah, but look, it's down where my grandkids can get it now. Well, no, no, it's not. Because you have to set a passcode to be able to access this thing. But for simple generic functions like your lights, you can access those without uh, being able to, or having to turn everything on. And at a glance, you can see the status of your tanks. Now, when you turn this on the first time, it'll say, hey, program in a code. I programmed in four zeros while it's here. You get in the settings, you can change it. But these are the things you can do right off your phone with this RV. Uh, so, you know, slides and awnings, touch pads, have done those for years. But heating and cooling, HVAC, you can control your heating and cooling from this panel. This is this basically replaces your thermostat. So it's less widgets occupying a wall. Also, this means, guys, if you are sitting in bed at night and you feel it's too hot or too cold, you don't have to get up and walk across the floor. You don't have to do any of that. You can grab your phone out of your pocket and you can turn the heat up, down, inside out, or whatever you want to do with it right from your bed. That is so awesome. It's awesome. So, um, <laughs> sorry, this one, this one's got me pumped up, <laughs> for real. The big U-Dinette over here is a big U-Dinette. Now, keep in mind, guys, the one we have in stock could be very different from this. This floor plan is so popular, we actually build it off in two different ways. There's a light and a dark decor. We will usually bring it in here in the dark decor with the dinette. And we will also bring it in in the light decor with a theater seat for couples. So if you're looking for a purist couples camping experience, I don't want a bench, I don't want a booth, I don't want anyone to possibly sleep with me. We offer that here at Halet RV too. We try to have something for everybody. But back to this, this is a full, like true big u dinette. And again, there's uh, two little changes here compared to previous years I'm really stoked about. They turned the pedestal legs. You know why? So that I can actually sit over here without bashing my knees into those knee knocker pedestal posts. I don't have to worry about that anymore. It's so much easier for me. Now, again, big windows. Every window is going to open for ventilation. Cougar's awesome about putting the biggest windows they can in. They're also really cool about uh, dressing up things in a simple, inexpensive, but nice looking fashion like that ceiling light fixture. But what's this? This is new. You have little touch sensitive switch lighting right here, but 
Also, guys, you hold your finger on it, and it's a nice little dimmer. It can be a sweet little night light or just enough light when you're watching TV at night to look through the RV and navigate the RV without having to uh, kick on your whole main lights. Oh, here's another thing. Let's say, you know what? I don't want to monkey around with the touch screen to activate the lights. They added an extra switch right here just to activate your main cabin lights. And this is dual row, high intensity lighting. It is dramatic the difference it makes in here. While we're looking up, 15,000 BTU air conditioner, standard. I'll mention that again outside, but that's important to mention while we're in here. Bigger, more powerful air conditioner, standard. Almost everything you look at is standard. Cougar does everything that matters, standard. That's who these guys are. Like big bedroom uh, cross breeze windows with an overhead vent for airflow, standard. That recessed uh, headboard up here with that extra little accent light. These side stands with power outlets, USB and household with those nice little open pockets to store things. All of that, standard. The Cougar King bed, standard. You can walk around a bigger, wider bed in here more easily. The, now, okay guys, if somebody tells me they cannot see the TV from bed in this model, I'm going to tell you to leave my dealership. <laughs> okay? Because if you can't see this TV from bed... Um, you shouldn't be driving a vehicle, first of all. And I, I mean, yeah, you need to get in line with Mr. Magoo to get your eyes checked. This is awesome. But again, why is this ridiculously sized TV here? Because Cougar does everything there, like bigger standard. Everything is a little bit bigger standard here. Now, this elevated serving station breakfast bar, this is new at the time of this filming. Previously, the counter just ended right there, and it was fine. There's nothing wrong with that. But they elevated this up. They added extra counter space, serving station. This is all thermal foil countertops. So it is all sealed edged and waterproof, which is why they're able to recess both the stove and the stainless double sink. Two sink covers are included. I simply have one on, one off, so you can see what you're looking at. High rise sprayer faucet, upgraded from before. Bluetooth, DVD, slices, dices, Julie Yens. And this, if you want to put a couple of those like um, tall director chair type things for like serving or something, perfect to do so. But the other thing is, in a way, this, it kind of defines where the living stops and the bedroom starts. So even though this is an open concept with a privacy curtain in case the grandkids are sleeping on the dinette, it does like say, okay, nope, don't, don't go past this. Don't sit on my bed, my personal space, Mr. and Mrs. Guest friend. Don't mess with my stuff. You, you don't have that here. Now, big breeze window right across from the dinette. So you get some wicked sweet airflow, tons of space back here for appliances. And the, oh God, we're going to, hold on. Give me a second to open all this up because this has just incredible closet and uh, storage capacity in it. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Takes a little bit because... Again, let me open this one up. Let me open this one up. I mean, it just never quits. So, kitchen drawers right next to the sink. Easy reach appliances where you need them. Huge space for a wastebasket back here. Not uh, just a drop uh, drop down knuckle buster pocket below the stove, but a real actual plywood box drawer. Every ounce of counter space has storage here. They don't waste anything. This is all pocket screw cabinetry, so it's going to last longer compared to um, stapled together sawdust cabinetry. Um, I mean, they utilized every inch of this they could, but look at this over here. This is the size, frankly, this might be bigger than the eight cubic foot refrigerator you find in the kitchen of this Cougar. Look at this. If you're looking for that tons of storage in a little camper, guys, we found it. We found Waldo. <laughs> so coming around the corner here, big look at that uh, eight cubic foot fridge freezer. And again, very easy to access in transit. Extra little power outlets down there. Easy for like uh, vacuums or anything like that, or just powering things like a laptop over here at the dinette. And again, that could be a dinette. That could be a theater seat. It could be a couple different things. Um, the uh, vaulted ceiling in here, they did a, it just really in this little floor plan makes such a dramatic difference. Opening this thing up and my shoe lace is caught on a drawer handle. There we go. Didn't want to break it. Now this light right here is actually motion sensitive. So you can just turn it off. You can just turn it on and you can flip it to motion mode. What I like about this on motion mode next to the door, next to that window, if that light was just on all the time so you could see when you come home, you're going to have a nice collection of bugs, gnats, right outside that window. You know, there's nothing like coming home at night, yawning, getting a big old mouthful of protein gnats, is there, ladies and gentlemen? Well, 
We don't have that problem here because the light's only going to be on as soon as you walk in the door. Those things work fantastically well. Now, a construction item I can't really point out outside where I do most of my construction talk are the interior walls. See these really heavy duty, fully framed out three inch interior walls? Uh, I think this is one of the reasons we have such good uh, reliability records with our keystones. They're, they just have a thicker, heavier skeleton, not just on the outside shell of the RV, but the inside as well. That big linen cabinet up there is very nice too. Keep some towels in here so you don't got to do the uh, buck naked street. Tons of leg room around here. Plenty of room to get dressed next to that porcelain foot flush stool. And still has the nice, bigger uh, radius shower. More of that waterproof countertop stuff, by the way. But look at the position of the skylight. It is directly uh, in front of, running longitudinally with the uh, uh, shower head. So even a, a big, tall guy like me, between the vaulted ceiling and that skylight, you've got all kinds of headroom in this thing. Again, there's just, there's a hundred little reasons why. If I were picking out a couple's camper right now, today, this moment, this is it. This is my camper right here. Now as compared to the previous generation, very little outside has changed. You actually really have to know where to look to spot it. But again, smart, simple, really dialed in updates going on here. When you are as successful as this thing is, you don't need to really go reinventing the wheel. You just kind of tighten the screws up a little bit. So you see the nice shield up here. Um, the uh, Keystone RV has their the single most comprehensive three-year structural warranty available in the industry. Uh, they have more coverage and more things that they build than anybody else. We'll get to that in a minute. Now, just like previously, we've got this huge pass-through storage area here. You can see the uh, aluminum structure that you'll find recurring through the trailer. Now, that is motion sense lighting. I simply have the battery turned off currently. But this black panel we're looking at here, this is new at the time of this filming, actually. At the time of this filming, this might be the very first one of these 22 RBSs to come out with this feature. This is in command. To give you an idea, guys, Keystone Fusion fifth wheels that can be $80,000 and up, they have this. It rocks. It straight rocks. So this little uh, protective shield here, in case cargo shifts, will, will basically uh, help protect and block all these uh, relays right here. Now what's cool about this, instead of a normal RV fuse system, you've got these automotive relays. So like we're here in uh, Branch County, Michigan, which is literally the name of where I reside. Um, you have 41 licensed auto repair facilities with parts counters. There's one licensed RV repair facility with a parts counter and that's us. Now, if you're out of town, the likelihood of you being able to find a place to, re, uh, uh, to get a new relay or something like that is astronomical in comparison to an RV shop. So this gives you a uh, better ability as a customer to quickly self-service this thing. Now, the other good news is you should expect to have to do less self-service as a result of this system. Now, Keystone was, and I may still be, they were the very first um, to uh, color code all of their wires. And that is exceptionally uncommon in this business. So God forbid there is an electrical problem, which is the single hardest thing to diagnose in this industry. It is now vastly easier to track down, diagnose, fix, and get this thing back into your driveway instead of mine. Now, inside, you will find this has that uh, uh, touchpad to activate this thing. Let's say hypothetically that touchpad dies. Well, you can come over here and you can flip this switch to whatever motor you want to operate, whether it's awning, whether it's, um, say, uh, jacks or slides or whatever the unit you're looking at is equipped with, and you can open and close it right here. So you still maintain a physical emergency backup override switch um, above and beyond anything else. And if you look here, it'll actually, there's a nice little sheet on these things that tells you exactly what every single thing on that panel means in plain God honest simple English. You don't have to be an electrical engineer to decipher that thing. So not only are you gonna have to look at it less, God forbid you do, you're gonna have to look at it for less time also. Um, and again, smart appointments all over the place on this thing. Like we've got the bigger baggage doors, the magnet latches, this nose cap up here with that ridiculously sized like heavy duty industrial um, like stone guard on the bottom. Look how tall that is. That is going to provide more protection for your RV for longer. Now, the whole idea behind a Cougar is to make something 
that is, um, you know, pretty solidly within the lightweight category. Not quite as light as its Keystone Passport cousin, but the whole point is everything on this is a little bit bigger. So you've got the big nose cap, you've got the bigger propane tanks, um, we've got uh, a, a huge furnace with an enclosed underbelly on this thing. You already saw the the larger baggage compartment up front or storage. We do have over here a uh, a simple solar prep. So if you get one of those portable panels, either from our store or our even our online parts store, you can plug it right in here to keep your batteries topped off. You do have a cable and water docking station that you can also close and privatize to keep the neighbor kids from monkeying with it. Um, up here, this is also something I like. Uh, easy reach battery disconnect. So, I mean, you don't have to worry about phantom load draining your batteries. Also, this panel up here is a little bit newer at the time of this filming. This is for your power stabilizer jacks. And what's nice about this is, so a lot of power stabilizer buttons are outside. Well, let's say that Johnny, the puke neighbor kid from out of town, is parked next to your campsite, and he thinks it's funny to play with your stabilizer buttons when you're not around. Well, you can lock this door and keep little Johnny's dirty paws from getting to this thing. That's kind of, again, a smart, intelligent design feature, though. Now, um, Keystone as a whole, well, they, they are the single largest producer of laminated product in the RV industry, but they're also the single most copycatted uh, laminated product in the RV industry. So, um, th the difference, though, between a Keystone and a copycat is the difference between taking an original document and putting on the copy machine and settling for the copy instead of the original document. That's what this is here. Now, the photocopy, it's going to be functional but it misses some fine details. We've already touched on a few of those, but I specifically want to zero in on the slide outs because this is the area I see the copycats miss nine times out of 10, and I've never seen one do all the things the Keystone slides do. So, your Cougar half-ton trailers, not even the big giant Cougar fifth wheels, that. this is the smallest Cougar they build. It still has a walkable slide box. So not only is the roof crazy walkable, and we'll, we'll get back to the roof walkability in a minute here, but the slide box can be walked on. Now, is there a reason you should really be tap dancing around on your dinette slide? Of course not, that's stupidity. The fact is though, more rain, snow, debris, whatever, can come in contact with this with zero worry of failure. You'll also find out Cougar uses maximum size windows for maximum airflow because they do all open for airflow. Um, Kind of a neat thing. What they do with like the carrying capacity on this is ridiculous. And people look at it and go, why does it carry so much cargo? Well, here's the logic behind Cougar. The streamlining, the 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 um, standardization of it. They say, what's our very biggest trailer? The 34 TSB bunkhouse with three slides? Great. I want you to tell me what chassis, what suspension, what axles, what brakes, what uh, furnace, etc. What air conditioner do we need for that? Okay, great. Now use it on everything. So this little guy literally gains the greatest benefit of that standardization as compared to literally any other Cougar. You get the, the bigger 15,000 BTU air standard on a Cougar trailer, the heavier axles, the ridiculous load capacity, the cargo bike rack on the back here. How many brands advertise three-year structural warranties now? And the answer is holy crap, a lot of them. But you know what? If you want to bring along a couple bikes, you have to void that structural warranty to put a bike rack on the back of most of those things, even if you bracket it to the bumper not a Cougar, because they don't want you to void your warranty. This is built for uh, long-term use enjoyment and uh, lack of maintenance. That's kind of the Cougar difference. The Keystone difference really as a whole here. This is very, very in tune. Um, so the roof, you can see it's super vaulted outside. It's also vaulted inside, and that double vault makes this thing it, like, there's almost no flex to it when a big guy who weighs 200 pounds like me walks around up there. I have no concerns walking around on the roof of a Cougar. None. Now, back here next to this easy tilt power awning. And that's another thing. It literally only takes two fingers to tilt this awning up or down. And uh, what's neat is it self writes. So, after you retract the awning, if it is on an angle and you hit the retract button, it'll sort itself out and come back out flat the next time. It is... Uh, as my wife would say, idiot-proof, which she means husband-proof, which she means mean, me-proof, but I digress. Outside TV hookups next to the awning, um, so you can kind of have it in under the awning wherever you want. The uh, aluminum plank steps here, they're lighter weight, they're stronger, they have less flex than steel steps, and you can see them at night, and they're not slippery when your feet get wet. Because uh, unlike the Bon Jovi album, we don't like slippery when wet in the RV industry. Full-length LED lighting under here. Um, the door is an anti-slam door, so you can really heave that sucker. And look at that. It does not smash against the side of the trailer. You can fling it, 
and it still doesn't bang around. But if you touch it by hand, it works very smoothly and easily like it's supposed to. Um, I think we're pretty much good. I think you get the idea. This is a product in which I have huge levels of personal confidence. Um, the service records from our Keystones at large have been among the best out here. And the, as many of these as we've sold, I, I would definitely know if there was a problem here. This is well engineered. This is well executed, better, more so than ever before. And I was already really in love with it. So if you'd like some more information, uh, you wanna see, hey, can you ship this to my front door or whatever? We only do everything with the exception of hidden fees at Haywood RV. We don't do hidden fees, but we do hit, uh, hitching pieces, parts, trades, financing, truck and trailer package deals, RV delivery, and everything in between. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.